State College is a really quiet, safe place, so we were able to pretty much just do whatever we wanted. done. Yeah, the big takeaway from State College is there's not a lot here, there's not a lot of support, so it's really about, you know, taking what little you have and making the best out of it. We had a skate park there called uh, Kids Mountain that was going all through the 80s, it was a more transition-based, old-school thing. All locals hung out there quite a bit, and probably about 82 when it really, really took off for us. So there was a, a ramp right in downtown State College. Dave and Leo Fay had it. When we were skating campus, that was like 83. Yeah, they were definitely hating on it. And but we kind of thrived on that. You know, we enjoyed part of why we like taking our skateboards to class and, you know, skating into class is carrying your skate, you know, just kind of sets you apart a little bit, I guess. Like I went to school, had a board, Ricky was like, I have a board. And we were literally like the only kids in town I knew that skated. He told us about this guy named Ruben. And Ruben Rivera was like the best skater around. He has a, a quarter pipe in his yard. And Ricky and I like sought out this dude, you know, and we went and we found Ruben's house and we were peeking in his garage and, and he came out that day. And literally like he just took us under his wing. I think there were so few skaters that even though he was like 17 or something, and we were, you know, these like third graders, I think he was just stoked that someone wanted to skate. There was a spot that was pretty close to my house, this place we used to call Black Acid. It was like a double-decker parking deck. Um, there was like a little two-stair. It was just kind of like a little spot, and it was close to the high school. This guy, Dan Kramer, he was he was really interested in creating these zines. Really kind of like rudimentary articles about like how bad skating in State College sucked. Whatever pictures we could we could rummage up, like photos we could rummage up. I ended up going down to the wall. You know, all of the, the sub-kids dudes were down there. Look at this, look at this magazine, look. What are you talking about? And they showed me the, the, the article, and I'm like, oh, crap. They actually printed it, you know, it legitimized things for us for, for a while. Yeah. Skateboarding was legal on campus, which was amazing, you know what I mean? And you just skate everywhere all day, you know? It was illegal downtown, that was different. It was like flip-flopped as, you know, as opposed to today. As far as the spots in State College, how they affected my skating, um, I think it had more to do with the climate in the town. I was the first, I think I was the first to skate any of this. Oh, yeah. I don't know, I mean, I watched it being built. It was another spot that I saw them building it and I thought, oh my God, this is, we have granite ledges. Yeah, we had a lot of good spots, but I don't think there was one that wasn't a, a bust. It was sort of like, go do something and then just get out of there. That's how we did it. That's why I was telling him I'm surprised like these kids are skating out here from the shop and the police are just warning them. Like every time I've encountered a poli police officer here, it's been like half an hour to an hour ordeal. I mean, you're not gonna stop, you know, you're not gonna stop people from skating in the streets or skating downtown, but you're definitely gonna lessen it if you would build a skate park. The, the township would, or the borough, would really see a dramatic decrease in the amount of, like, police encounters or, or uh, citizen encounters with skateboarders. Get the f off! What the f is wrong with you? There are no skateboards allowed on campus. Especially From 1994 until I don't know, basically now, you know, it's still, if they want to screw with you now, they can still, the laws are still in the books, they can mess with you. Gave a lot of people police records, you know. I'm we're sorry, just, sir. We're just trying to get Listen, him to like calm down. I'm sorry, you sir. You guys know, you can't be on skateboards in downtown State College and you can't have them on campus. Yes, sir, How we're sorry. The three of you guys been I think since we opened the shop, less and less people calling the police and more and more skaters flooding the streets and 
people are all sort of just patient with it now. And I think knowing that the skate park's gonna get built and seeing the skaters and it's all sort of, you know, culturally it's all changing. You know, people really understand the need for that type of thing. And I think people feel good seeing them out there because they know that we're gonna have the park soon. So the whole tension of there's nowhere for these kids to go, but they're not allowed here, that's totally gone. It's sort of like, well, we're, we have something right around the corner, and until then, you know, let's, let's encourage them.